Ten. We're in Ipswich, Massachusetts to check out Solar Aquatics Waste Treatment, which uses plants to transform raw sewage into clean water without the use of chlorine. This technology can handle the sewage treatment needs of a small town. So New England Biolabs is situated actually in the Ipswich River watershed, currently one of the 10 most endangered uh, rivers in the United States. So New England Biolabs uh, wanted to be a good neighbor um, in believing in, uh, in the technology that uh, John Todd and others offer. Uh, built a living system to, uh, to treat uh, their wastewater here. So is the idea that you guys are able to put We're your water to return that back water into back the river. over to the river? Exactly. And that helps with the flow. Yep. It's a great right. thing to do given the, the locality of New Biolabs new facility. We're taking different uh, elements of naturally found water purification environments and kind of accelerating the process inside of an uh, enclosed and very controlled environment. So in a wetland, it might take several days to treat wastewater. Here, we might be able to do it in a day and a half. And some of these plants, like the flowering ginger, just produce unbelievably beautiful smells. So when you walk in here, people are blown away by the fact that this is actually a wastewater treatment facility and not some beautiful horticultural garden. This greenhouse is 5,500 square feet, uh, so it's quite large, uh, but can treat up to 27,500 gallons of wastewater per day. So we are starting the process of re removal of the contaminants right in this tank. All the wastewater from New England Biolabs comes here. A variety of organisms are introduced. They react and recombine, starting to break down the bacteria and toxins. So the water is being pumped overhead. The next stop it makes is over here in a, in a uh, solar aquatic tank. This wetland is a five foot deep wetland, uh, which each one holds around 11,800 gallons of water. The plants are playing a very crucial role because the plants are actually doing a great job of removing some of the nitrates just by themselves. And by the root zones kind of meandering through, it's bringing bacteria with it deeper into the wetland and kind of opening up more interstitial spaces for water to flow. So it's creating channels. A variety of plants, snails, algae and plankton further the process of breaking down and removing wastes. All right, so this is the water coming out of the solar aquatic tanks. So what you're going to see is that it's kind of, it's very mixed. Um, all the particles are kept in suspension at this point. And if we let this sit, it will start to settle out. And we can come back to it. Water gets retained in here anywhere from three to five hours and the bacteria will basically flock together. They'll become more dense, they'll settle out. Fats, oils, and greases will rise up, float to the top, and those get skimmed off and returned back to the blending tank for further processing. Uh, and that biologically rich sediment layer now gets airlifted through this pipe and returned back to the blending tank to kind of reseed that new water coming in. So. What I like about this is instead of actively filtering something, you're just letting something sit. Yeah, exactly. And just let time do this. Yep. What it needs to so we be. should see kind of a nice water layer starting to form already on this. Oh yeah, totally. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Now this clear zone should be about that large in about maybe two hours. And that's the zone that we're gonna allow continue on for further processing. Why don't we take a look at the, uh, the root and shoot development okay. on one of our solar tanks. All right. And you should just be able to set it right now. That's crazy. There. So do you do this occasionally just to check out the root system? Yeah, it's kind of like to see what's going on underneath and interesting to see the biology. What we have here is the, the biofilm that develops on the root zones. This is kind of the intersection where the bacteria and plants meet. This thick film is actually very biologically rich and you can see that these roots are just covered in snails, bacteria. There's so many snails, wow. Yeah. We really are creating a nice complex ecology that's biologically very diverse. And, and can handle a variety of different contaminants. Now, there's no growing medium for these guys? Like, they're not held together with anything? No, they're just growing right in the wastewater. As the water's kind of going through the wetland here, the last step is uh, ultraviolet disinfection. Then the water flows through this channel where it's being uh, basically blasted by ultraviolet light. And what the UV light does is basically denatures bacteria, uh, viruses and kills off bacteria. So but will there be any kind of a scent or a smell to this water coming out? Not really. Not really, eh? Let me grab uh, a container and then we can, uh, we can pull some of the water out. Now, theoretically, it would be disinfected and it would be treated to a tertiary, tertiary standards. Yep, it is disinfected at this point. You can see that that's 
very, very clean one. Yeah, it's very clean. Can I give it a whiff? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's actually, there's no smell at all. Highly clean water. And that's the process of the plants and the bacteria, the sediment settling out in the sea. Exactly. Well, what strikes me about this system is that um, when you actually see the actual wastewater coming into the system, and then you see the water flowing through all the different tanks in the system, and then coming out clean at the end, uh, it really does reinforce the fact that this is like, uh, you know, a system like a machine. Being here helps put things in perspective in terms of what is necessary for water to become purified. We try to. Um, to stress kind of the environmental benefits of doing something like this versus a more traditional package treatment plant, we could use 20 to 50 percent less electricity and energy in general. So these systems are aesthetically pleasing, but they're also very biologically robust, meaning they can handle a lot of different contaminants coming at them. Well, thanks a lot. That yeah. Was great. Thanks yeah. Thanks for coming yeah, nice out. Meeting you. It was great to turn you through and uh, enjoyed it. We'll see you later. See ya. Thanks, guys. Take care.